I think of Wellington Mara, I think of the NFL. The backbone of the NFL. Was a man of immense dignity, immense integrity. The guy who, by demeanor, set what Giants football is all about. I don't know if the NFL would be what it is today without Wellington Mara. It wouldn't be as exciting. It wouldn't be as competitive. I think a lot of people who know the NFL realize what sacrifices the mayor has made to make the NFL the league that it is today. He kind of set the tone for uh, why we've become the most popular sport uh, in America. He knew everybody. He talked to everybody. He was soft-spoken, but when he spoke, it was like literally the voice of God in football speaking to you. I don't think there's any major move I made in my life that I didn't discuss with him. It's hard to imagine the people whose lives he touched. And even though he's been gone for some time, he still touches them. You have relationships with people like that and you think to yourself, you've been blessed to be in their presence. I love to see him come out and practice, walk the field, and then watch practice. He was there every day. Rain, sleet, or snow, Wellington took his walk around the stadium during practice. Never missed a practice while I was there that I can remember. That's 10 years. He loved to watch the defensive linemen and the offensive linemen go one-on-one -on -one pass rush and run drills. Wasn't the best thing for us because we had to beat each other up to prove that, you know what I mean? You got the head man watching, you got, you got the legend wanting to mirror watching, you can't slack. Yeah, I never really wanted to let him down in any way because I saw what he went through week in and week out. You know, we'd win, he'd come through and he'd have this big Irish smile on his face, you know, and he'd be happy and we'd lose and he'd come through and he'd shake everybody's hand and say, next week we'll get him. For a guy who ran this team to still be so close to the players and so close to the everyday, to me is extraordinary. It just showed you that he cared. People always say, well, no one is as good as, as people claim that they are. He's the exception to that rule. He was as good as everybody said he was. My first year here, when our football team, quite frankly, uh, the locker room was as bad as I've ever seen it, would stand in the locker room, not say a word, just be there. Players knew that he was there. And he was there because he was supporting the head coach. I'll just tell you this. I came back to Giants Stadium several times as an opponent. Never one time did he not come in my dressing room to see me. Every single time. Great family. I owe it all. If it were not for Frank Gifford, Rosie Brown, Andy Rovestelli, Sam Huff, and the many giants who honor me by their presence today, there would not be a Wellington Mara going into a Hall of Fame. I thank the selection committee of the Hall of Fame for giving the Mara family this great day and I thank you all for coming. Thank you all very much.